What's up guys? Today we're going to go over how to make a 6x6 door. So just as we always do, we have our 6x6 door. A button will open the door up like this. And I know it's not the fastest design in the world, but for its simplicity and also considering it's a 6x6 and not like a 3x3 or something, I think it's quite good. And then another button on the inside will close it. And then when you want to go out of your base, you can open it again and then you go on the outside and close it again like that. So with that, let's jump right in. All right, so to start off, we want to know where we are going to have the actual door. So that's what I have here in gold. So the gold blocks are the actual blocks that move as the door. And then we also need to know what side we want to have the button on because the design kind of differentiates the side that has the button and the side that doesn't have the button, which we'll see in a minute. It's a small variation, but it is important and can mess you up later if you have it on the wrong side. And then once we figure that out, we also want to know where the back of the door is. So this is the front of the door with the button on this side. And then this is my back of the door. And we need to carve out a hole like this where we start under the door and then going to the back side, we do six blocks across. We go seven blocks down and then we go six blocks across for the door, but then a few more just for our own sanity on the side of the button so that we can kind of like you know, have somewhere to stand while we're building it because otherwise it's really annoying to like only do it top down like this. So once we have that carved out, we can start doing the triple piston extender. All right, so now that we have the pit built, we can place all of the stuff in here. And I apologize for this, but I think I'm just gonna have to build this without really explaining how it works. And that's because this is the type of thing that you can just like build once and then forget about it. And it's super complicated and like compact and everything. I usually just build it and don't question it if it works. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. So we place two observers facing away from us. So like facing away from your door in these middle two blocks on the bottom. So like this, we do it on all six blocks that are under the door. So we do that. And then we place some opaque block at the end of this. We do three sticky pistons on top of this gold blocks right here. And in order for you to like check your dimensionality, you should have three blocks in between your door and these pistons, as well as like one block off like that. And then we go over here, we place pistons facing up, normal pistons this time, facing up uh, on this like bottom part right here. And then we place observers facing down into these pistons, but like one block away like that. So we do that and we do it on all of them. And then we place some opaque block right here. I'm gonna use obsidian, I, like there's no sticky blocks going right here. So this can actually be anything. I'm just gonna use obsidian anyways. And then what we do is we place observers on this layer facing into these pistons like this. So we do that. We place opaque blocks right here. And then we place redstone on top of that. And then we do repeaters, which I don't have. Uh, on top of these observers on a delay of four. So they have to delay them by four. And then down here, we place lamps in front of these observers. Your pistons are probably gonna go nuts. And then we do redstone or gold and then redstone or like any opaque block. I'm using gold though, on top of this. And then we put more opaque block right here and you make sure that you have like the diagonal. So there's nothing that's gonna be in between right here. And then you do gold on this side. And this is where the differentiation of like what side the button is on. So on the side that you have the button, leave a block here and make the, the observer face downwards like that. Um, Sorry, upwards, upwards, upwards. Right, because yeah, yeah. So it faces upwards, you place a lamp here um, and <laughs> Everything's gonna get kind of messed up. And then you place pistons, sticky pistons this time, um, diagonally off of this, like that. So like you have diagonal sticky pistons facing this way off of this gold, and then we do it on all six of them. Kind of hard to explain, I'll just show you. You build it like that. And then you place an observer facing uh, upwards, I believe. Hold on. I believe it faces faces downwards. Yeah, yeah. So you face it downwards in between this sticky piston that faces this sticky piston like that. I'm just gonna fix this real fast. 
and then we place now an opaque block that doesn't stick to sticky blocks, which you can use actually furnaces. I'm gonna use obsidian anyways, uh, but I think furnaces are actually a lot cheaper. And then we place repeaters across this part right here. So on that part, and they are also delay of four. And then we place redstone on this remaining part. And then we have like a repeater right here, and this is just so you get the signal in. And then we take this up, and this is what we're, what we attach the uh, stone button to. So, do that. Um, that'll already try it. Yeah, hopefully. And if we did everything right, and I'm actually sure if we did, in order and actually in order to test, it, we need to place the slime behind blocks. So in order to do the slime behind blocks, we need to kind of stagger them. So we do like groups of three like this, and then we stagger them, and then we do like that. And then up here, we'll need to stagger it again, so you might as well just do that now. So we do it like this, and then just with the 5x5 five five door, we do like a little hook like this so that um, you can make the wall flush with it. So we just do it the same way. And now it should pull this down. I'm not actually 100% sure. We also need to get rid of this, sorry. We need to make sure that the uh, honey blocks don't get stuck on the dirt here. So yeah, get rid of this block and you can place it with like obsidian or furnaces or something. And then if we did it right, it will pull this down. Oh my gosh, I got it on first try, okay. And there we go. So now we need to do the upper part of this. All right, so for the upper side, it's kind of the same situation where like you just kind of do it and then I don't question it ever. So um, it's a lot less complicated than this bottom part. So what we do is we go up by seven blocks. So you go up by like three, and you go up by the three where your actual pistons go, uh, and then you do another one where your actual redstone goes. And then you do six blocks across like that, um, in line with the door, of course. And then you do three sticky pistons facing downwards off of this block right here, like that. And then whichever direction the back of your door is, which in my case is this one, so it's the side that has all of your stuff, all the slime and honey box and stuff, you place observers facing upwards on the top row of pistons like that and the bottom row. And then we place lamps in between these. And then you have this situation going on. So these observers face upwards, lamps are right here, and then these observers also face upwards. And then we place our block that doesn't stick to slime or honey, which can be furnaces or obsidian. I like using obsidian. And then on the other side, we do observers facing upwards again, but only on this bottom layer right here. And then again, we do obsidian or furnaces or whatever block you can use with that. And now what we do is we place redstone on top of this. We place repeaters on top of these top um, observers right here. And your pistons are gonna get kind of crazy here. So like that. And then we place a torch here. We do an observer facing upwards one block away from the torch. And then we do a redstone dust on top of that. And that, this is just to get the signal to go downwards. Um, and this, this ordeal right here should be on the same side that your button is on because uh, well, it doesn't really matter, but it's just <laughs> easier, I guess. Because if you have to signal strengthen it halfway through, like this just lets you signal strengthen this bottom part easier, I guess. So we do that. We place redstone here. And then we do repeaters on top of these observers. And these do not need to be delayed at all. Okay. So we have a delay for here. These ones are delayed. Uh, and that should be it. So if I add like a button here or something, it should be able to grab this thing right here. What is happening? <laughs> um, okay, I don't know why it refused to do that. Did I not delay it properly? Yeah, yeah. That's why. Okay. Well, let's fix that real fast. And then try that again. So we do that. Okay, now it should work. So. It will grab the thing and then we press it again and it will push it all the way back down and then just make sure it works again. Yep, okay. So now what we need to do is bring this button up right here. So we can do the same thing we did last time where we just use like a glass tower, 
we just have to make sure that the signal will reach all the way up there. So, like, if this is where your button is, like, this is your wall or whatever, we can just bring it, like, a, literally immediately adjacent to it. So we do it, like, here. And then we go up. Um, up again. Up again. And then we go all the way up. And we have to make sure that the signal doesn't go more than 15 blocks. Because otherwise you'll have to signal strengthen it. I believe we can make it all the way up here, though. You have to signal strengthen it, like, almost immediately, though. So, like, here. Actually, we can go up two more, I think. Yeah, let's go up two more. And then... So yeah, go up to the level of this gold block right here, and then signal strengthen it, like, immediately right here. Uh, and let's double check that. So it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that should perfectly power that repeater. Yep, okay, cool. And then we just bring this all the way over to this guy. And now it should be able to do both of them, and I need to, uh... We need to get these in sync with each other so that they're closed at the same time. Or open at the same time. Okay. So now when we press the button, it will be able to close both at the same time, and then when we press the button again, it will open both at the same time. And then, just so you know, like, when you're trying to build your base around this, you just have to use blocks that don't stick to these sticky blocks for, like, the floor right here and then as well as like the walls that go up like this um and then on this side as well you want to make sure that these don't stick to stuff um and then likewise up here like you would do obsidian or something like right here and then right here um and just like make sure that your stuff doesn't stick to all the slime and honey blocks uh and then other than that you're basically free to do whatever you want so that is the design Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions and I'll be happy to clear them up. As always, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.